What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Since the channel switch, I've been showing you guys a lot more of just my daily life through the vlogs. And I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys asking, how do you have your life together? Why do you have your together so well? Um, I don't think I do. I really don't. The thing that I do believe in is making small little changes in your daily routine that will make you feel more organized, you'll feel better about yourself, you'll feel like you're tackling your day better. There are so many categories and aspects of life that you can take control in and we're going through the basics today. My top seven tips and tricks to feeling like you have your life together, your sh together. First tip, so generic. Everyone talks about it. At this point, I feel like it's a cliche, but it's make your bed every morning. It's not the most fun thing to do when you wake up, but I will tell you why. For starters, it gives you something to accomplish immediately at the top of your day that will already put you into a better mindset, completing one thing, because you do get that instant gratification of like, one thing is done, it's clean, it's pristine, I'm not gonna hop in here in 20 minutes. I think it's really important to treat your bed as a place where you rest, you relax, you wind down, and if you end up doing all of your work in your bed, it's harder to switch your mind off when you're actually trying to fall asleep. My next tip is to make your to-do lists the night before. I used to go back and forth. I would do my to-do lists in the morning or just way too early. When I get into bed, my mind immediately starts racing and creating lists of the things that I didn't do on this day or the things that I have to do tomorrow. Writing down lists and writing down what you need to do will help to just clear your mind and let you actually shut down versus trying to remember like, okay, I need to do this, I need to do this. Just write it down. Once you write it down, then you're good. I created a template on my iPad where I like to write in the times of each activity and sort of structure my day with a schedule. I also create different categories. So if I need to text someone back, call someone back, send an email, I write all that down and I find that writing those little things help me to feel accomplished as the day goes because even though they're little things, they're still things that you have to do the night before. Do it. I've definitely preached this next one to you guys before. Setting a 20 minute timer. Oh my God, life changing. If I have to clean the kitchen or do dishes, clean my closet, any sort of chore or task, setting a 20 minute timer is such a realistic measure of time that doesn't feel too intimidating but still gives you so much time to complete something it's like the sweet spot number giving yourself that promise gives you the freedom of like okay i can focus on this let me just try to get as much of this done as i can because that is all i'm doing in the next 20 minutes once i started doing this i realized how much i can get done in that time span it's pretty remarkable how fast you start doing everything this step might seem seem very obvious, but it is very crucial for the people that work at home and don't really have to go out much. Personal hygiene. If you spend a lot of your days at home and make your own hours, like myself, it's very easy to just not have to do that stuff because you're not seeing anyone. So you end up spending your whole day in pajamas. You don't give yourself that distinction of, I'm at home relaxing to, okay, I'm starting my work day. Getting out of your pajamas, putting on regular day-to-day -day clothes, it instantly changes your mentality. One of my biggest priorities for self hygiene is my oral care. I feel so good when I have fresh breath, a clean mouth, a bright smile. They always say your smile is like your best accessory. This video is sponsored by Moon and I have been loving their products. For starters, they're vegan and cruelty free, which is awesome. And their packaging also is so sexy. Thank you for making oral care products so visually pleasing to the eye. This is always the first first thing that I'm doing when I wake up in the morning. I'm gonna leave you guys with a link in the description box if you want to check these out in the comfort of your own home, but also they're available at Ulta and Target, which is so wonderful and accessible. They have really, really fun whitening products. They have an advanced whitening moon dust. So what you do is you put your toothpaste onto your toothbrush, open up this little jar and dip it into the moon dust. So this guy will give you a boost of whitening. You can use it one to two times a week, or if you have an event coming up and you just wanna 
treat your teeth. Also, they have these stain prevention teeth wipes. Genius. They're on the go. They come individually packaged, and what you do is you just rip it open, wrap the wipe around your finger, hold it down with your thumb, and just literally wipe your teeth. It's gonna give you fresh breath immediately. It's gonna prevent stains from coffee, wine, any dark liquids. And they've also got a whitening pen that pumps out whitening gel that you can brush onto your teeth. So this is a great product for optimal teeth whitening. I love the taste of all of the products and they're just about checking every single box for me. Like I said, link down below or you can just purchase in stores. It makes such a difference and it just makes you yourself as a human being feeling confident and feeling like you have your life together because you're putting in the time to take care and treat yourself to stuff that's just going to make you thank yourself later. My fifth tip branches off of multitasking, specifically listening to audiobooks and podcasts. I can't even imagine life without them. They're such a great way to absorb information while you're doing something that really doesn't require a lot of brain power. So whether it's driving in the car, cleaning at home, doing any sort of laundry, whatever it might be. I recently decided that I wanted to re-listen to Outliers because I remember reading that book years ago in class, back when reading was a drag and now I wish I had more time for it, but I've been listening to Outliers. I've got like two hours left of that. And then for podcasts, this might be very dorky, but lately Phineas and I have been in love with the Bernstein Insights podcast. Both of us don't really know that much about stocks and investing your money. And this podcast interviews different people that do it for a living. It's just way different than um, any of the conversations that I'm having. Another one I've been loving is Song Exploder. Each episode interviews an artist about a specific song and in detail, they go through the entire process of how they made that song, how it came to be, the lyrics, all the different sounds. I don't know that much about music, so it's interesting to me and they've covered just a lot of random favorite songs of mine. So just going through the episodes, click on a random one that you've never heard of or a song that you've always loved. And it's really interesting to just hear about the entire process. And then at the end of each episode, you listen to the song in its entirety after knowing and learning everything about it. And it just makes you appreciate it in such a different way. Yeah, I think the key is to just switch up what you're listening to because sometimes it can start feeling way too routinely. My sixth tip for getting your life together has to do with your environment because I truly believe that if your environment is organized and clean. It lets your mind be organized and cleared out. A huge thing that's changed my life, and I've definitely talked about it a bunch, but it is a label maker. I will label things that don't even need to be labeled because it excites me that much. Whether it be the way that I organize my pantry and my kitchen or my different storage, memory, work boxes, all that stuff in my office. Labeling where you put things just gives every object in your life a home and a purpose for wherever it's sitting. Not only does it organize everything, but it helps you to filter out the things that you don't need. You start to realize which objects are the stragglers and you don't really need. The less junk you have, the happier you will be, I promise. My seventh tip for getting your life together is to prioritize your me time. I never wanna be a supporter of the culture of overworking yourself and never giving yourself a break and being the one that's not sleeping at 4 a.m. I think it's really, really important to rest and give yourself that me time because I think having your life together parallels with your relationship, with your body and your soul and your mind. And I believe the way to feel connected with all of that is to give yourself that time. I think always being busy and frantically running around working is actually going to make you feel the opposite. It's gonna feel like you never have anything together. I think any time of day is great, whether you wanna do that in the morning and just stay off your phone, give yourself time to just write down your thoughts, write into a journal. I just think any time is super valuable to your mental health and just sort of recharging and letting yourself find that moment of clarity that's just going to help you stay focused on the stuff surrounding that time. Those are my seven tips and habits that I like to implement into my daily routine that just make me feel like I have something together. <laughs> I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys for a new one very soon. Bye.